Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm really excited to share some art with you and also to have the opportunity to share a little bit of our home with you. Let me know if you guys like this um, format of video. I've really been enjoying slowly incorporating little bits of things into videos. It gives it a little bit more of like a vlog type relaxing feel like if we were actually hanging out together. And I like that. So let me know what you think. We've just started putting up a few decorations for Christmas. It's something that um, I kind of fell out of love with as a young adult and had a lot of strange and not super happy feelings about this time of year. Um, but now that I have my children and I have learned some things about enjoying life. <laughs> that sounds a little silly. But anyway, um, now these days, um, every year I get excited to decorate with them and to just enjoy each other. Um, most of my family lives thousands of miles away, so I don't get to see them nearly as often as I would like. So I just cherish my children and my husband extra amounts during these times of year. Okay, I guess we should actually talk about art for a bit today. Today I am working on three small portrait experiments, and these are actually the originals for my patrons over on Patreon. These three will be going to the three patrons at the original art tier um, this month. So these are paintings that they've already paid for, and they will be going to their new homes soon. Thank you so much to those people. It's a real joy to get to send out these little originals every month and really having that small task, you know, knowing that that's coming every month is so inspiring to me because it gives me the opportunity to play around with things and try things and answer new questions. So I've been thinking a lot, you know, in recent months about the idea of a loose watercolor wash with ink over top of it, like ink tying everything together and providing bits of line work and contrast. And, you know, it was one of those little creative ideas that just floats around in my head and doesn't actually happen for a long time. So I finally told myself I was going to sit down and work on this for my patrons and actually, you know, give this a try. And I'm only using two colors of, of actual watercolor here just for some initial color and value and these are my roman small watercolors i'm just using a red and a yellow to lay down some initial looseness i had a lot of fun working on these the one red that i'm using it might be cherry red is that a real color by roman small i can't i'll put the link in the description for the specific two watercolor colors I'm using today, but I've really been loving this particular red. Whenever I am feeling like I want to put a lot of red on a painting, which is almost all the time, this is the color that I kind of dream of and that I want to be using, so I'm excited to get these paints out some more. I'm using a Sumi ink that I purchased probably for an Inktober some year. I don't know I think it's, I've had it for a couple of years now. I might have gotten it for 2018, which was maybe the last time I like actively participated. And that was so much fun that year. And I haven't used this ink very much since then. I've only gotten it out a couple of times, but it's so much fun. And line work definitely isn't my strong suit. I don't do hardly any line work at all, but it's really fun when I do get to do it and using a brush and ink is 100% absolutely my favorite way to do lines like these. And it's almost, I guess I can only very loosely call this line work. It is, but it still feels a lot like painting to me. And that's really what I have had to learn that that's what I want out of line work. You know, I, I tried using microns or using fountain pens and I've tried even just using like a pencil and different methods of making lines but when the process feels very different from painting it's usually difficult for me to 
you know, kind of move into that part of the process organically. And it just took me some time to realize that using a brush and ink, because that's most similar to just painting with watercolors, is a process that I'm actually able to transition into after painting much more organically. So I guess that's a little bit of encouragement for you guys if you if you find that a particular part of the art making process feels foreign and strange and not very comfortable to you, just try switching it up and try working on that particular aspect in a different way. I guess you could also, it could be fun to do line work like with gouache and then you could very easily use different colors. Doing stuff like this just gets me really excited for working on more multimedia projects, like mixed media things. So using different art supplies together. So if you have any ideas for fun combinations of different things to put together, please do let me know. I would love to hear what you think and then we can get inspired together and maybe I can feature some interesting combinations of supplies in future videos. After I had completed the part you're seeing here, which is just adding, you know, brush lines to all three of these pieces, I felt like I was enjoying how they were looking, but I, they needed more texture. So I ended up just grabbing a standard Bic pen, um, like a ballpoint pen, and adding some more lines, I guess a little bit of hatching and some texture just to make it feel like something I connected with a little bit better. I felt like there's a lot of open space with these, which is fun, and I do like how they looked at this point, but I do like them more with those lines at the end. That sort of holiday feeling has been hitting me more this year than it usually does. Maybe it's because we are in our new house and my kids are getting older and we get really excited about this time of year for decorating and for um, just showing each other and just the ways that we make even more of an effort to just show that we love each other. Like my my daughter has been making little cards for us and for other members of our family and drawing little pictures and, you know, my, my family that lives on the other side of the country has been in contact a lot more and we are planning to do like video calls together and it's just a time where I feel so much gratitude and I feel so grateful for the people in my life. And it's going to be a little different this year, of course, with everything going on. My husband and I had been getting into the tradition of making Christmas cookies and then delivering them on Christmas Eve to people who have to work at like gas stations or um, convenience stores. We would go out late at night on Christmas Eve and deliver those. And in other years, we would just go and ask the people, hey, do you have any like any what's your favorite snack that you would recommend, you know, and then we would just buy it and give it to them. And because of everything going on this year, I don't think we'll be doing that. So I'm excited to establish new traditions with our kids about ways to give back during this time of year. And I'm really looking forward to that. Thanks for listening to me talk about that. I'd love to hear about any holiday, Christmas, wintertime traditions that you celebrate. Um, down in the comments. We've been doing something like that over on Instagram and it has been so heartwarming and so amazing to hear about the things that you all do during the holiday season. I know it's a happy time for some and you know some of those memories aren't always super happy so I understand. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you like these paintings. They were really fun to put together. I love when I can just sit down and do loose projects like this in a couple of hours and then they're done and it, it's fun and it inspires me to try other different things.
as always, the biggest thank you to my patrons and my members here on YouTube. I do weekly vlogs for my patrons and members, and also real-time videos and sticker sheets and postcards, so there's lots of fun things there if you're interested in checking that out. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. I hope you're well, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>